Hey, well, I'm in San Diego, California, and I'm going to go around to see what we can see in the San Diego Zoo. That's where I am today, as you can see in back. So let's go ahead and check out what sort of animals we can actually see today. And one of the boys out there for actually checking animals without walking is there is a bus tour to go around and see what we can actually see. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got the top. Beautiful day. Check this out. one of my today. That's because they do the non-profit, so every dollar that you spend on your ticket is going back to the plants and animals here at the San Diego Zoo. So thank you, Seth. Please just make sure to keep all body parts in the bus at all times. Hang on to your belongings and only stand when the bus is out of the All right, if you haven't spotted the tiger yet, it's on the other side, so I can't get down. Let's get on the top of the habitat. Uh, I, I see we them. actually have three Malayan tigers that live here. Their mother was brought to us from Indonesia years ago, where she was getting very close to a village in the area. We have a daughter. Our river hippos have been waiting very patiently for this habitat to be complete with renovations. Here at the San Diego Zoo, we want to make sure that the habitats are the best that they can possibly be for the animals living here, so we take our time with the renovations. Looking just beyond the hippo habitat, you'll see the opopi. It's These monkeys were rescued from the bush meat trade, now safely living here with us at the San Diego Zoo. On our tour, I am going to point out animals and plants. And the reason why this is so special is because the armor leopard is briefly in our international habitat is very unlikely to ever run into another armor leopard in his lifetime. So it's really special that we have two babies here right now. When you entered the zoo today, you were greeted by an animal at the front. What animal is that? Flamingo! At the front. So that's because there are two different types of flamingos. At the front are the American flamingos, and these are the greater African flamingos. Cool and Andean condor. And then on our left side, where you stop, you'll, see the, you'll see the sign in the shape of a yellow kangaroo with a number two on it. This is a kangaroo bus stop. For those of you who do not know, the kangaroo bus is a bus for transportation. It's the California driver. <laughs> All jokes aside, if you take the 163 freeway up north for about 35 to 40 minutes, you'll find our sister car to get inside the habitat and be one of the scariest things to her. <laughs> Back over to our right side, we're looking for an elix. Later, you want to go over to the polar bear plunge viewing window. From the viewing window, you can see into almost the entire habitat. In the building on the right side of their habitat here is where they have an indoor area that's essentially a jump. The Sky Fari, a great way to get from one end of the zoo to the other while getting a bird's eye view into the habitats below. If you hop on the Sky Fari on this side of the zoo, it'll drop you off right next to Explorer's Base Camp, Red Rock Hyrax. Is any guess on what this animal might be related to? Biba? Squirrel? Prairie dog? All good guesses? Anything else? All of those are good guesses, but the answer is probably going to surprise you. If you look at their school structure, they actually have huts and are closely related to elephants. Know that elephants are often hunted for their tusks for the ivory trade. And while that's unfortunate, what makes it even more unfortunate is that often leaves baby elephants orphaned. So what Ratetti is doing is taking in those babies, rehabilitating them, and returning them to their place to retire and live out their lives in peace. This is something that I find important to talk about on my tours because and for them, that's a simple way that I can be an ally for elephants. And you can too. And the more of us coming together to raise awareness in the 1980s, there were only 22 of these birds left. That's because of a chemical that farmers were using that was making their eggshells so thin that they would break upon coming out of the mother. And condors only lay about one egg a year, so you can see how that's a problem. We partnered with the Los Angeles Zoo to start a breeding program to get those numbers up. It's also pretty close to the front. Kangaroo bus stop 
three and one are going to be their, your closest stops to the front, so keep that in mind. Urban jungles also where you'll find a variety of animals like giraffes, the park, where they were getting themselves into some trouble. It's not their fault their mom taught them some bad habits. They were getting really close to people in the area and digging through trash to find their food. Fish and Wildlife reached out to us, yes we did, so now they live here with us where they're not concerned about habitat loss and they're definitely not going far. And the canopy of the trees above provides us with shade down below. Penguins actually come from a variety of different environments, not just the snowy ones that we typically think about. You are here at the San Diego Zoo at a really special time because we are open until 9 p.m. for nighttime zoo. But I just hope that you enjoyed our tour as much as I did. We got to see a lot of cool stuff today. I hope I was able to teach you about our animals and our partners that we collaborate with to find innovative solutions for wildlife. And now hopefully you have some ways that you can be an ally for wildlife to help us create a world where all life thrives. That's the end of our bus tour around the zoo. That was really fun. What do you guys actually think about that? Give comes up a little. Other than that, I guess walk around and see what I can actually see. Animals walking around. Lord, if you want to take a photo in front of me, too, so basically, you can see the Right here, go ahead and look right there. Mm -hmm. Some more monkeys. Oh, oh, man, I want one of the monkeys. I think so cute. <laughs> it's a little bit sick. Look at how long the tail is. It's like dry. There's Lily. Oh, there. Look, look, girls, he's, there. she's right up here, this little one. Right there. She's hiding. That's what we call from Lingo Island.
Let's say where it is, head go. It's head to water. See in black and white. Okay, did you guys know oh, this one? I did a crawl across the road. You really did any get to the other side. <laughs> So it's down right down below with the description of why he did what he did. Look at that, that's funny. <laughs> After seeing that sign, it's very range, seven to ten feet. I think we're uh, safe because it's way, the tiger's way up there. <laughs> seven to ten feet. See the fish? No hippos. But there is a hippo there. There's, there's already the lumps of his back.
everybody. Come on. <laughs> As this night comes to an end, what a wonderful sunset we're seeing right now. Sh shining here on the San Diego Zoo. It's kind of setting anyways. <laughs> it's been a great day here at the park. Got to see the whole entire land. It's a big land too, I gotta say. Can I say it's been an incredible day. It's getting this going to the back of the park. I am going to come I'm actually come back for a round trip. We can only do one way on here. Let's see what happens though. Let's see if there's anybody waiting there. I wonder if they'll let me stay on if nobody's not over there in line. Gotta find that out. Oh, this is great. This is a great zoo, I say, and this is absolutely humongous at the same time too. And I've heard that's so far uh, that's from a distance away from here is even try more bigger than this land as well too. So that's something to think about in the future to actually do. The, uh, the safari thing that's out uh, here in San Diego this as well too. But, uh, other than that, I hope you had a great time here with me today at the San Diego Zoo. It's been so incredible. We got, we got to see so many animals and everything. Yet I set this right for uh, the, particularly uh, during the day and night because particular animals may not be out. I went out uh, that bus tour actually three times. We got the chance to actually see the uh, animals that I didn't see earlier uh, tonight. So that was pretty cool too. So anyways, I just want to also say to, uh, it is uh, on a weekday. So I actually prefer uh, you guys actually come here during the weekday this as well too. There's nobody here right now towards the end of the evening. It's open until nine o'clock. <laughs> And uh, it's around 8 o'clock right now, so we have one more hour left at the park. That's really cool. So, anyways, here from San Diego uh, Zoo, my name is Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, guys, I'll see you next time. This is a beautiful day and a beautiful sunset, as I see. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.